about satanic rituals that was going on in that BET award. The Lord give me spiritual visions. Sometimes what we call gospel is not always the gospel. People are singing about Jesus. But the question is, are you living for Jesus? You call people jump in the shower, it don't mean they say. The devil can run around the church. I'm praying for Will Smith. I'm praying for Kurt Franklin because they go on the wrong path. And because Will Smith was talking about God in that BET award, it doesn't mean they were talking about the God that we serve, the true God. A lot of these celebrities are worshiping Baphomet. Who is Baphomet? Baphomet is a demon who looks like a goat. That's Satan is worship. Will Smith had fire all around him looking like hell. That wasn't God in that BET award. It was a satanic ritual going on right before your very eyes. Even Kurt Franklin, even though he's singing about Jesus, but how is Kurt Franklin singing about Jesus and wearing women's high heels? That don't represent God. God not gonna tell men of God to wear women high heels and dress like a woman. When the Bible said that a man not supposed to wear anything that's pretending to a woman, we gotta pray for Kurt Franklin. He don't know whether he wanna be a man of God or Michael Jackson. Trying to be like James Brown. You can't serve the world and God at the same time. In that BET award, it was a satanic ritual going on right before your very eyes. Gotta pray for Kurt Franklin too. He's selling alcohol on his ministry. You know God forbids that. Yes, we know God turned the water into wine. The first miracle that Jesus did at Canaan. But the Bible also said, be not excess with wine. In other words, don't get drunk. You can drink a little wine, but don't get drunk and be over with wine. A lot of pastors are Freemasons. Not all. My grandfather used to be one, but thank God my grandmother talked him out of it. Allow him to do witchcraft, worshiping the devil. When Jesus said you cannot serve two masters, he said love the one and hate the other. He said if you do, if you look warm, I will spew you out of my mouth. In that BET award, it was a satanic ritual going on right before your very eyes. So I'm praying for Will Smith and Kurt Franklin they were not talking about the real Jesus. They was worshiping Baphomet. Even in the Super Bowl, during the halftime, they are doing devil worshiping rituals. Come on. On the Super Bowl, down the years, most of them were doing devil worshiping rituals. Gotta be careful. Even in the gospel music world, there's a lot of devil worshipers, even in the gospel music world. They sing about Jesus, that does not mean they're living for Jesus. Those who love Jesus will live for him, not just talk about him. Jesus said, you love me, keep my commandments. You can't be in homosexuality and then say you love Jesus. They said it's hate speech, but it's not. Two men cannot make a baby. This is not hate speech, it's true. Children need a mother and a father, not two men and not two women. This is no hate speech. Even then, you Sodomites, you didn't get here because you was birthed by two women. You was birthed because your father made impregnated your mother. And that's how you was birthed. That's the way God ordained it. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. God bless you, young man. I'm happy to see you today. God bless you and your family in Haiti. God going to save you and feed with the Holy Ghost. You're too blessed to be stressed. You. You're welcome, my brother. Have a good day. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody asked me, how do you feel about the LGBTQ thing? I probably pronounced it wrong. I said, Jesus loved gays, but he doesn't love the ways. Very simple. Oh, that's hate speech. You're discriminating. I'm not discriminating. You asked me a question. I grew up in the old time way, y'all. But I grew up believing in the mother and the father, not two men. A daughter and a son needs a mother and a father, not two women. That's the way I grew up. What's wrong with that? That's not discriminating. It's that I just don't feel comfortable 
with a transvestite, if I had a daughter, I wouldn't feel comfortable with a transvestite going to a girl's bathroom. And let's say if I had a daughter and she going to the bathroom and this transvestite goes into the bathroom like a man. They got muscles. No matter if a man try to get his chest changed, that don't change the fact that he's a man. A man do not get periods. God ordained for women to get periods, not men. So even if a man get his chest changed, that don't change the fact that he's still a man. This is not hate speech. This is not discrimination. I know the government goes for it. It don't mean God changed his mind. The Bible said it's an abomination. Yes, God is love, but he doesn't love sin. The churches have embraced this stuff. The churches has embraced sin. Many churches have embraced devil worship. God bless you, men of God. Y'all can be my ministers one day. I'm going to have y'all preaching the word. God bless y'all. God is raising up young men like that. They're going to fill it with the power of the Holy Ghost. God is raising up young men of God. Amen, brother. Thank you. I appreciate that, brother. He said, turn the mic up. I like that. God bless you, young man. I'm happy to see you. That's another young man God raising up right there. God is raising up young men of God. God bless you. They're going to say, Lord, use me to change the world. I see greatness in you. When God saved you and feed with the Holy Ghost, you can stand for the truth. Even if family turn against you, keep on standing for the truth. We're living in days where churches are backsliding, playing church. Men gone with men. Got Shalomites in the choir. It's going to hurry you to the judge. It's true. It's going on. I love the old time way. I love the old fashioned way. Children need a father and a mother. That's how we was birthed. God gave gift to a man. God bless the fire, man. We appreciate you. God is with you. God bless his whole life, God. And his children, his family, and his wife. Saved and filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. Leviticus chapter 11, no, chapter 18, verse 22. It says, a man, if a man lies with another man, like you lay with womankind, it's an abomination. God doesn't change his word. He didn't change that. The word of God was here way before the White House was even built. God's word was here way before the Constitution was put in the White House, in the government. God's word was here way before the 26 amendments even came about. Come on. God gave the commandments to Moses on Mount Sinai. 613 commandments according to the Hebrew Torah. The King James Version, we talk about the Ten Commandments. Still important. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13, it says, If a man lies with another man like he lays a woman kind, it is an abomination. Same thing in the New Testament. Romans chapter 1, starting verse 22. It said, men had left the natural use of themselves. Men with men. Say they were women. Women with women. We're living in those days now. They have the gay pride flag running in front of the White House. President Biden went for it. It doesn't mean God is for it. God can save you and give you the Holy Ghost, which is even better than having a homo ghost. Having a Holy Ghost is better than a homo ghost. Many of you might have got molested, or raped, or sexually abused. Your gay lover cannot save you. Jesus can love you better than your gay lover. God can save you and heal you. That's why Jesus said, I come to heal the brokenhearted. Other words, God's love us, but he hates what we do. The Bible said that adulterers will not inherit the kingdom of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of God. I also go on to say, and the effeminate will not inherit the kingdom of God. When you got men going with men, the Bible says it's abomination. No matter what the president say, what did God say? God was here way before the president even came. God was here way before the world was even created. God doesn't change his word. We live in modern day Babylon. You saw what happened to Donald Trump. God must be protecting Donald Trump. Bible prophecy is coming to pass. The stage is being set for the Antichrist. The number is 666. Read the book of Revelations. Chapter 9 and chapter 13. 
It talks about the mark of the beast. 666. The mark of the beast is already in the world. There are many Christians believers who have backslid and already following false prophets. You got pastors up there, got women stripping naked in the church. That's a pimp in the pulpit. A playboy. And I'm eager enough to follow pastors like this. How you got women up there wearing bras and panties in the pastor's pulpit? You got pastors up there laying hands on women's breasts and all this stuff. That's a playboy. Doing witchcraft and got OG boys and VG boys and doing witchcraft and all that. That's not God's church. Don't be deceived. And that BET award, it was devil worshiping rituals going on. Gotta pray for Kurt Franklin. Here they're wearing women high heels. God ain't gonna have no man to God wearing no women high heels. And selling alcohol in the church. And that BET award, it was a satanic ritual going on. They were not worshiping God. They were worshiping the devil. You got to pray for Kurt Franklin. Here they're wearing women high heels. God will never tell no man to wear no women high heels. This man is a real man right here. We thank God for a real man like you. you See, this is a real man right here, y'all. I'm doing fine. I, thank you for that water you gave me last time. Thank you so much. Thank you, my bride. I appreciate your love and concern for me. I thank God for you. Thank you, young man. I praise God for this young man. You too, man of God. You too blessed? All right now. Have a good day, my brother. Young man came and gave me water on last Saturday. That's love. God going to bless him for that. We have a chance to come to Jesus today. There are many church people who are backsliding, who used to know Jesus. And now they're following the devil's way and not God's way. There may be family members who, who are backsliding. Maybe your own husband or your own wife or your own children that they tell you, Mommy, I don't want to serve God no more. I want to serve the devil. We're living in days where people are signing contracts with the devil. But there's punishment for the wicked. I know God is love, but the Bible says God is angry at the wicked every day. It's also something called the judgment of God. God gives us a chance. He gives us a chance to repent. Which means to turn away from sin with godly sorrow. The Bible said in 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1, Some in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and the doctrines of devils. The seducing spirit has crept in the church. Spirit of Jezebel and men Jezebels has crept in the church. These days now you can't tell a church from a strip club. Going to church now is like going to a strip club. You don't got to dress half naked to get a man. Let a man love you for yourself. It's about the inner beauty, not just the outer beauty. So when God gives you a wife, she ain't no knife. Some of you are married a knife. Oh, she beautiful on the outside, but just as wicked on the inside and a witch. Putting spells on men and going to church, so-called speaking in tongues, being fake. Come on. You got men Jezebels in church too, not just women. You got playboys go around seducing other men's wives in church. And unfortunately, it's a lot of pastors. Not every pastor. God got some real pastors. So if it don't apply, let it fly. Lust is one of the biggest demons out here is lust. The devil knows what you like. If the devil knows you like a handsome man, he'll give you a handsome man. He'll come tall. If the devil knows you like a pretty woman, he'll sing you a pretty woman. But she's wicked. He's wicked. He's abusive. Lama's sitting right in church. You gotta be careful who you marry. Pray before you get married so you won't marry a demon, a he demon, a she demon, and you find yourself sleeping with the enemy. Saxon was sleeping with the enemy. Read the book of Judges chapter 16 verse 4. The Bible said that Saxon loved the woman in the valley of Sorek whose name was Delilah. The devil wants to work in relationships. 
He know we all are structured for love. God ordained marriages. But not every marriage has been ordained by God. There are marriages that are matches made in hell and not in heaven. First get married to Jesus. Love him first. More than you can love anything in this world. Love him first. Love Jesus first. More than you can love anything in this world. And he will bless you. He will supply your every need. When you seek ye first. Oh, hallelujah. The kingdom of God. And all his righteousness. Then all these things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. People are worshiping idols. Not just only statues. People are worshiping men, women, and cars and houses. And celebrities. But all those things is going to pass away. But Jesus said, but my word is going to live forever. Hallelujah. Everything going down but the word. The Bible said, I ladies will not inherit the kingdom of God. The love that Jesus has for us is called the agape love. It's not the same kind of love that you have for your wife or your husband. The love you have for your spouse is called the eros love. You don't make love with God. Different kind of love. Many believers who say they love God really don't love God. A lot of them are doing witchcraft and worshiping Baphomet like they did in the BET Awards. Kurt Fanning up there wearing women in high heels. That's not of God. God made men to be masculine, not to dress like women. It was a satanic ritual that was going on in the BEG wars right before your very eyes. Many of you didn't pick it up. Some of you did pick it up. We're praying for him. Because God loves him too. We're praying for Will Smith. And all of them. With all these celebrities. Got these sex parties. Doing satanic rituals. Laying up with each other. Lustful rituals. Got breasts out. To cause the men to lust is a Jezebel seducing spirit. They want to seduce. Praise the Lord, young men. God bless you all this morning. The devil sends beautiful women and handsome men. The devil come handsome. He comes beautiful. As an angel of light, you got to be careful. That's why you should love Jesus more than you love your spouses and your family. Churches now has embraced sin. That's why the churches got spewed out the mouth of Jesus. He said, you lukewarm, I will spew you out of my mouth. Now you can't tell the world from the church. Women prophetess, half naked in the pulpit, got a lot of pastors seducing women, laying up with every man, woman he prayed for, and then, and then got a man lover on the side and giving his wife AIDS. He and his man lover is going to hell if he do not repent. Honey, we're living in the last days. Jesus warned us about this in Matthew 24. Go back to your first love. Read the book of Revelations and do your first works over again. Behold, I'll come quickly. And he said, my reward is with me. God not coming back for a lukewarm church. God is coming back for a holy people. This sun is hot. But this sun is cold compared to hell. A lot of church folk down there. For serving two masters. And they shut their ears from God. They want to listen. I receive the truth. Tomorrow is not guaranteed to you or me. Let's begin to say the prayer of faith. God said today if you hear my voice. Harden not your hearts. Those are with the Freemasons. God loves it, but you can't worship Baphomet and Jesus at the same time. There are a lot of celebrities in Hollywood, but with the Illuminatis and the Freemasons, Hollywood is connected to hell. That's why Hollywood is so co so corrupted. Lust, orgy parties, satanic rituals. It's all in the hip-hop world, even in the so-called gospel music world. 
They're talking about gay gospel. There's no such thing as a gay gospel. The gospel is holy, not gay. The gospel is holy, not homo. The gospel is holy. God said, be holy for I am holy. We're not perfect. Jesus can deliver you and save you and forgive you. If you're willing to repent. That's why he shed his blood on the cross. We're praying for you today. He can do a transformation in your life today. You can renounce Balfamet. And renounce the Masonic lodges. No wonder so much, so many bad things going on in the city. A lot of Freemasons are politicians. And you think charity work is going to get you into heaven. Ain't nothing wrong with charity work. But it takes more than just doing charity. Jesus said, many in that day would say, Lord, Lord, have we not cast out devils in thy name? Had we not prophesied in thy name? Matthew 7, verse 22. Had we not done many wonderful works in thy name? Then will I profess unto them? I never knew you. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. We are saved by grace and through faith. Not a works that any man is supposed. We're not saved by works. We're saved by grace and faith and through faith. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. We're going to say the prayer of faith right now. Wonderful works are great. Takes more than just wonderful works. What's the sister doing wonderful works in the community and you still worshiping the devil on the side because you are Easter with star on a mason. Renounce that stuff. God doesn't work with the Masonic squares. God ain't got no secret orders. There's nothing secret what God can do. What he done for others, he can do the same for you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Save that young lady who got molested when she was a girl. Save that young man who doesn't have a father to talk to. Save that young man who's tired of being on drugs. Save that person who's on heroin, who wants to be saved. Even those of you who are rich, you may say, Preacher Warren, I got everything already, but how about Jesus? Nothing wrong being rich, but your riches cannot save you from hell. When the rich man died, he went to hell, and he's still there, awaiting for judgment to be cast in the lake of fire, escape. Your riches cannot save you from hell. There are a lot of rich and famous people who are still taking drug overdoses. They're not happy because something is missing on the inside. That's Jesus. Jesus can fill the gap. Hallelujah. Woo! Jesus can fill the gap. Jesus is still the answer for the world today. Let's begin to pray. He's the answer for America. Stage is being set for the Antichrist. One day it will be a cashless society. The mark of the beast is 666. Bible prophecy is coming to pass. But if you're saved, he said, don't worry. God will take care of you. Praise God. God will deliver you. If your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, you will have eternal life to be with Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask God to save, heal, set free in the living. Repent and be baptized. Hallelujah. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, for the remissions of sins. And he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Touch those who've been depressed, God. Mode. Touch those who are suicidal. Don't kill yourself. Love yourself. God loves you. He doesn't love the sin, but he loves you. He can forgive you. Only sin God will not forgive is blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Every other sin he will forgive. Take it away. Those who are reprobated, who don't want God, who love being wicked, will have their part in the lake of fire. Hurry to judge the word says. We have a chance to escape the wrath of God by repenting from my sins because he loves you. He don't love the sin, but he loves you. He loves me, but he doesn't love what I do wrong. Forgive us for our sins. Hallelujah. If you, could, if you shall confess, with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, Yahshua HaMashiach, become a believer. And believe in your heart that he was crucified. And God is raised from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. From what? Hell. Saved from sin. So you can have eternal life to be with Jesus Christ. 
He called you out of darkness. Glory out of you. Lots of Jesus. Into his marvelous life. Praise God. Because I chose you to be a holy nation of a king of people, a royal priesthood set apart from the world. We in this world, but not of the world. God is going to bless you today. When you receive Jesus, he'll supply your every need. God will turn your tears into joy. God has a great plan for your life. Some have been sexually abused. Jesus can heal you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For those who want to send to our cash app, it's Flame of Fire 8 on the Pastor Warren Adams, W-A-R-R-E-N, Adams, A-D-A-M-S. May God bless you and we praying for you all around the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we love you. Hallelujah.